Hello friends welcome back okay so now okay no, we have like we have completed the schedule of the event okay now let's register a callback function okay so what i have did is so this is the action so i am using this mlb recurring event as an add action uh, and then registering this event callback function okay to this uh, action uh, our event hook name and i am passing the default value or uh, default priority and i am passing the second as a number of arguments this function will get because this arguments this value one value two will be uh, sep- passed as a separate arguments like argument one and argument two so in argument one i will get value one in argument two i will get a value two okay and for now that i haven't come up with some like useful uh, like real life use case so i'm just updating this option uh, value what are the arguments have been passed i'm just updating that into the update option to, just to see how whether this our uh, uh, cron event has been executed or not okay so and similarly you have to you can do with the uh, mlb single event this is our single event hook and i have did the same register callback function and update these options here with this mlb single event option name okay so if you go um here let me just refresh it okay so now you can using this of uh, uh, like wp control uh, plugin you can see this two event have been registered mlb single event and mlb recurring event okay and this will execute uh, and you can also execute from here so if i execute from now, run now uh, so it says this uh, uh, to run now original event will not be affected okay so if i go to the database for example let me just go to option um then like query okay or let me just copy the option name not this one i will be single event okay so i will simply pass say all and done you can see the value in the array format value one and the value two has been set it here okay and similarly if i execute uh, this event the mlb recurring event and run now okay so this event has been run so if i go here and i will simply say recurring event recurring event so now you can see the uh, option mlb recurring event with the same value value one and value two so means our whatever the events we have scheduled those events have been like executing perfectly right so uh, and the uh, in the callback functions whatever fun- uh, whatever logic you have implemented it will be executed and you can also see what arguments have been passed to this uh, events right these are the uh, static uh, arguments i have passed it so these arguments could be a dynamic one depends on the use cases okay and this is the action like this is the callback function have been registered into this cron api.php file and here so from here uh, also we can see uh, uh, how like this uh, interface uh, or this plugin can provide more information like if you want to know uh, like what are the events has been registered by some plugin and in which file you can see that uh, action action means the callback function of that for that event right so use, using this action information you can easily tar- you, you, uh, you can easily uh, look at the files and the code base okay and here you can see non repeating and here every 10 minutes so recurrence these are the a display name purpose for the user okay so from here you can also delete the events okay and you can do but for deleting the events generally uh, sometimes plugin developers forgot about uh, unscheduling the event for example let's say uh, let's take about same example the movie library right i have just installed the plugin for checking pur- for like just checking purpose uh, to see what plugin uh, features provided um, and this events has been scheduled um, in on the init hook right but after some time or a few after testing or checking i have deactivated the plugin but uh, and if this then uh, like uh, and this event has been scale, still uh, scheduled then it will be executed by the wordpress and maybe not it will give an error or anything because we had deactivated the plugin so there is no callback function or anything right so it will simply execute the hook but it will it won't do nothing okay but then it 
keep rescheduling again and again because we haven't unscheduled it so as a plugin developer we have to keep in mind that so in you uh, you remember about deactivation hook right so in the deactivation hook you can simply unschedule the events using the wp unschedule hook okay so any any uh, events uh, on the same uh, hook have been uh, scheduled then all the all the events uh, will be unscheduled using this hook so i am unscheduling these two hooks uh, mlb recurring event and mlb single event on the deactivation of the plugin okay so if i go here go to the plugins okay and then uh, deactivate the uh, i don't know why it's i think due to the php 8.1 version sometime it giving an error i'm using the latest php version okay so movie library plugin deactivated so if i go uh, here to the tools and then cron events you don't see here our uh, even uh, recurring event single event registered by that plugin right so this way we can simply remove it using on the plugin activation or deactivation hook all right and let me just activate that again and if i go back again um you can say our two events have been uh, again scheduled on the init hook all right so and also deleting the options like these two options i have used for demo purpose so during the deactivation these options can also be uh, removed okay so yeah um that so this way uh, we can uh, schedule or uh, unschedule the events as well okay uh, but there is a catch if you go to the documentation there are an another function um called uh, unscheduling the task so this is on wp unscheduled event so this function can also use to unschedule the event but uh this function wp unscheduled event let me just copy it okay and uh, go through our all the functions are into wp includes cron.php file okay so yeah so this function so uh, it says unschedule a previously scheduled event okay but it also needs the hook and the arguments okay and the timestamp as well okay so and uh, without arguments we cannot do anything so in this example we have uh, we have provided a timestamp so using wp next schedule uh this uh, the wp next schedule function return the timestamp and same timestamp we can pass and the hook name right but in our case here in our case we have passed the arguments as well right so when we schedule the event we have passed arguments as well so uh, this function uh, wp unschedule event also required arguments so array containing and these arguments are used to uniquely identify so these arguments used to uniquely identify the event so that should be the same as those used when the originally scheduled the event okay so based on these arguments it will identify the unique event okay and then it will uh, unschedule that particular event okay so for an example uh, the wp recurring event uh, uh, like schedule with the different arguments like assume that these arguments are the dynamic ones and it cannot be changed right so this event will be scheduled with the different arguments right so in that case um, and we cannot get, uh, get this uh, dynamic arguments every time like uh, during the deactivation hook okay so we cannot use wp unschedule event in 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 that case right so instead of that i have used wp unschedule hook so um, wp uh, unschedule hook function unschedules all the events attached to that hook okay so um, so in 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 uh, to this function I, I have to just pass the hook name or our event name which will unschedule all the things right so like for example as an um, difference purpose if i go here uh based on the arguments it will calculate the has value right so using after serialize it will get a has value and create a key and then this key will be used to uh uh, to uh, remove that hook from the cron array okay list of the cron array right because uh, this argue this key will be created uh, using the arguments again so um okay and uh, and the wp uh, unschedule hook for example let me go through here again wp unschedule hook which will simply remove all the like during the for this loop it will simply remove the same hook and like remove all the all the events scheduled on the same hook with the different arguments as well okay so these two functions you can use for unscheduling the event okay and there is another function called uh, wp clear schedule hook as well wp clear schedule hook so 
uh, this hook also used on schedule all the events attached to the hook with the specified arguments right so any other uh, on the same event if the like or uh, there are some like uh, what kind of example i can give here like the same like the mlb recurring event but with the given specified arguments then it will simply uh, clear that uh, all the events right if it's multiple time has been uh, scheduled then i think that uh, for that wp clear schedule hook function would be uh, very helpful for us so in the cron.php file and to the wp includes folder you can go through all the functions here to get uh, to know more what are the functions are available and behind the scene how this function definitions looks like and how it's ex uh, executing what are the arguments what are the arguments definitions and everything okay so yeah uh, that's all about scheduling the events and unscheduling the events right and uh, there is disadvantage let's talk about disadvantage right in the beginning we have uh, we have learned that uh, wordpress cron execute on a page load okay so whenever the user visit your site then the wordpress cron will be executed right so that could be a uh, we can say disadvantage so sometimes if our site is not getting so much traffic then the any any scheduled events may not run on the same time where on which time we are want to run it so in that case we can use the system uh, task scheduler okay so uh, first of all we have to disable uh, using this constant disable wp cron so uh, so that wordpress won't execute a cron events on the page load whenever the page load happen wordpress won't execute a cron uh cron uh, cron task okay or the schedule events so we have to define this uh constant set it true okay and then based on the operating system you can uh you can set it up the you can set it up that uh um using the system schedule task task scheduler you can uh you can execute this wp cron.php file and this php file will be used to execute uh, cron events okay so you can in the windows you can use powershell on the mac os and linux you can use a cron tab uh, okay so if you are probably you are familiar with the cron tab so here you can pass the minutes hours day month and day of the week like on which time you want to execute uh, that command and in the command you have to uh, use wp get um, and the uh, and the url of visiting the wpcron.php file okay so either you you can use call command or you can use wp get command to execute uh the our wpcron.php file of of, of of our site okay so um so calling the wpcron.php file into the system cron will will resolve our uh, issue okay because the cron system task schedule or the cron tab will execute uh on the same time on a given interval and our wordpress cron events will get get it execute um, on the given time right so there is so we can avoid or we can prevent that disadvantage about like the uh, wordpress cron only execute on the page load so that disadvantage we can uh, get it um, like we can prevent that using uh, using the cron tab or the uh, system task scheduler okay and about simple testing of wordpress cron like uh, you can create a plugin you can use the wp cli commands like we have seen wp cron event list and the cron event run and job name and everything so that you can go through it and uh, you can also call this function okay get and set cron array um, to simply see how um, is there any uh, whatever the event we are scheduling uh, whether it's been added to the options table or not and since we have this wp control uh, plugin so this plugin is very helpful to to debugging for debugging purpose to know more about wordpress cron what are the events has been there and um and few more informations right the next run we can also run it we can delete it and we can add it uh, the timeline and everything okay so that we can do okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress